Good evening, everybody. As part of tonight's word of encouragement, I want to speak about the difference between encouragement and confidence slash assurance. So while reading Romans 14 the past week, the Apostle Paul spoke in chapter 14 about the law of liberty. In this chapter, it entails guidelines with respect to things that are neither commanded nor forbidden in Scripture, determining the neutrality of certain moral issues is not simple. However, when the principles taught here are obeyed, the Holy Spirit is free to guide individuals. Among Christians, there needs to be the room for toleration and differences of restrictness regarding such issues as eating habits, as we find in verse 2 and verse 4, and observing special days in the Christian life, as mentioned in verse 5 and verse 6 of Romans 8. Since both parties do it to honor the Lord, neither should look down on either. Okay, with that being said, as backdrop, while reading verse 8, Holy Spirit spoke clearly to me in regards to the theme tonight, the difference between giving a word of encouragement and having confidence and assurance. I want to read with you Romans 14 verse 8, which spoke to me clearly. It reads as follows, For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. Well, every week we bring you a word of encouragement from the Word of God. Now we know that when we bring the Word, we share the Word, be it preached, teached, or even just reading it, it brings about faith in the heart of the hearer that needs a appropriate response to that Word so that it can be established in our walk with God in our daily lives. So the point I want to make tonight is as follows. May the word of encouragement become a word of confidence or assurance in your own life. Like the Apostle Paul said, for if we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. Therefore, whether we live or we die, we are the Lord's. That might just be a word of encouragement to the hearer. But to Paul, those words came from a place of confidence and assurance in the Lord and therefore he made such a profound statement of truth. I want to say to you tonight, I encourage you tonight to read the word and find your confidence and assurance in the Lord and not just in words of encouragement that other people might bring to you. I want to say to you a word of encouragement is like dessert after a meal and we all know that we can't be sustained just by dessert every single day. I know as children we like having dessert even before our meals. But I want to say to you that we need to get into the solid food, the Word of God, and not just the milk of the Word, but we need to get into the solid food so that we might have confidence and assurance when we make statements that it will not be because other people said it, but because God spoke to us. I want to say to you today, to live is Christ and to die is gain. But you can only say that if you have the confidence and assurance that knowing that he who spoke that to you is truthful and that he is God and that he is alone God and there is no one like him. I want to encourage you tonight, not just to feed off of words of encouragement we give you weekly and on a Sunday when we have our live streaming or Sunday services, but I want to encourage you to have personal time alone with the Lord. Spend that time in the secret place, in your inner room, where you spend time in word and in prayer and fasting and giving. And remember that when doing those things, that God sees it all. I want to encourage you tonight. Remember, be confident and having the assurance that God is with you and that is in you is so much greater than just constantly receiving a word of encouragement. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't get it from one another. We should encourage one another. We should build up one another in our faith. But I want to tell you, spend that time in the presence of Jesus and in His Word, and He will speak to you. God bless you. 
Have a wonderful evening, but just before we end off, let me just pray with you. Lord, I want to thank you tonight that we can sit around your word, be encouraged, and not just receiving a word of encouragement, but Lord, may we get revelation from your word as we spend time in it by ourselves and just read your word. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you will lighten up and bring to revelation that which we need to see where we find ourselves because each and every one on our walk and in our journey with you daily is on a different place in our faith not that we have another faith but in our journey of faith in you and i pray to know god that you would speak to each and every one of us personally that we will not live off dessert but that we will have full wonderful set meals as we spend time in your word in jesus name God bless you. Thank you for listening. And may you be a blessing as far as you go. In Jesus' name. Amen.